He decided to call this referendum. He decided Britain should stay in. But the voters have decided the country should leave. And now he has had to accept the consequences. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. This is not a decision I've taken lightly, but I do believe it's in the national interest to have a period of stability and then the new leadership required. It was clearly an emotional moment for his wife, Samantha, and by the end, for him too. I love this country and I feel honoured to have served it. And I will do everything I can in future to help this great country succeed. Thank you very much. He took a gamble and he's lost. Now he's recognised reality and he's going. They booed the man who may be taking over. Boris Johnson's become the standard bearer of the now triumphant Leave campaign. But today he was playing the statesman and praising the man he beat. How sad I am that he has decided to step down but obviously, I respect that decision. I've known David Cameron for a very long time, and I believe he's been one of the most extraordinary politicians of our age. But he said the voters had reached the correct verdict. There is simply no need in the 21st century to be part of a federal system of government based in Brussels that is imitated nowhere else on earth. It was a noble idea for its time. It is no longer right for this country. The total number of votes cast in favour of Leave was 82,000. Early hopes of a Remain win soon faded, and through the night the results kept coming in, showing that Leave had pulled ahead. By the early hours of the morning, the man who lit this fuse 20 years ago was jubilant. So we need, as I say, a Brexit government. We need the negotiations to start as soon as humanly possible. We need to start thinking globally about our future. And the other thing I think that needs to happen is that June the 23rd needs to become a national bank holiday, and we will call it Independence Day. Thank you. As if there isn't enough going on, Labour MPs have put down a vote of no confidence in Jeremy Corbyn, saying their leader didn't work hard enough for a Remain vote. I campaigned the length and breadth of this country on a party position which was that we should support remaining in Europe, recognising the many deficiencies of the European Union in order to reform it. They were changing the guard at Buckingham Palace appropriately enough as David Cameron told the Queen of his plans. He leaves a country that's heading out of the EU and possibly Scotland leaving the UK after another referendum. Hardly the legacy he wanted. Andy Bell, 5 News.